Hello there, I am Giant Quill with more Earthbound. In the last part, we got here, uh, we rescued everyone, we talked to them before we left the, um, Stonehenge base. And, uh, we came back to, we went back to Oneet, got the book from the Oneet library, we sold also some items like the, uh, KC Bad or whatever it's called for $19, we sold the diamond pen, the diamond, the diamond band for like $4,999, which is really nice, because we don't need it, because we already gave the pixie bracelet to, um, Jeff. Because it did like it increased his defense by ten, uh, more uh, numbers I guess by ten. It, uh, increase of ten, I guess you could say on his defense stat. So um, and we also came back here and we uh, helped uh, these tendon guys get rid of their shyness and so they're not shy anymore. Also we talked to him, this guy and we told we changed our name player's name to Steven honestly it was Giant Gold but now I changed it back to Steven. Let's talk to him again. He gives us a um, bag of dragonite. Yeah, since we overcame our shyness, I'll give you a bag of dragonite. Take it. So this is really helpful. You want to have as many of these as you can really because they're really helpful in boss battles. And Nescott, of course. And we're going to talk to this guy. Um, would you like some tea? This is actually a uh, drink. This is actually similar to when we drank the coffee back in Sidon Village. Mr. Sidon Village. Um, Mr. Sidon Village or Sidon Village. See the one of the two. It, it can be either or, really. Yeah, I like this music. It's awesome. And the background's pretty cool, too. Like a great tempestry tree, vertical and horizontal threads have met and became un in interwind interwined creating a huge, beautiful image. I mispronounced two of those words, I think. Uh, you may have cursed this never-ending journey. Aw, oh, man. don't want to curse. Okay, you have known injury and defeat, but you have struggled to reach this place. You, your born in intelligence and courage have helped you bring you, your, you here. You have believed in your friends, and as a group, you have supported each other. Have you ever stopped to consider how much power has grown? How much your power has grown? Now you you could feel, uh, you could fell enemies in in one it in Tucson with one blow. As you certainly know, you cannot turn back. Guy guess the arch fiend of the universe is growing frightened uh, of your of you and your power. He is in search searching for ways to end your journey. That's not very nice, but he's the enemy in this game, so that makes sense. From here. Uh, the challenge grows, you, and your adventure will take you beyond anything you ever imagined. You are draw, drawing near to Guy Guess. Remember, when you are suffering hardships, your enemy is also struggling. That's actually really good to know, actually, to, keep, to stay positive, I guess. That's actually very true, too. By the way, do you know where Pokey went? When this cup of tea is finished, your adventure will continue. Your destiny pulls you in the right direction. Believe in yourself and press forward. Very, very, very well said. You know, I couldn't say I couldn't have said it better myself. I love this music in the background. It's pretty cool too. As I said before, it's awesome. Oh yeah, Ness, Paula, Jeff, Pooh. I wish you luck. Okay, so I guess I'm ready now. Let's do this. Okay, let's go over here. Let's talk to this guy here. Powerful I so show everyone. He just swaps a boulder for us. Hurry up! I got it, I got it. E yeah! Okay, thank you. Let's go down this hole. This is actually the entrance to your next sanctuary dungeon, so very worth noting. Stuck to this talking rock, it looks like. A face with it. it has a rock as a face, at least. Good evening. I am a talking rock. But the rocks around here don't talk too much. The rock that talks the most is deep down in the labyrinth a ways ahead. I think I said that word right. I'm in the lost underworld. Don't forget to talk to the rock. It's important. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. So, I think everyone's at full health. Uh, pretty much full health. That's okay. We're still in good shape. Now, these are foppies. We've battled them before. Um, they're orange this time instead of red, I believe. So, let's just bash, bash, and shoot, and bash. I don't, I don't think we even need to use PSI attacks, really. Because, uh, these things will go down easily. Ah, uh, PSI magnet didn't work well. Good. That's good. Good. Let's just take out the rest of these two. I think two attacks on one 
uh, pa, or Fabi, or Fabi, or fa, Fabi. So it's Fabi, like Bobby, but with an F. Ba, Fabi. There we go. It's just an easy fight, you know. Nessa's friends gain 18,348 experience each, and just like where well, they give out a lot of experience, actually, which is really nice. It's an easy enemy to defeat, and you get a lot of experience. That's pretty cool. That's actually what you something really good in RPG games where you can just defeat a lot of them and get a lot of experience. Plus, you're facing multiple ones too, so that's pretty cool. But remember, when you have four active party members, you split the experience four different ways. I forgot to mention that, like, you do split the experience so many ways at the end of the fight, depending on how many of uh, your party members are still, you know, conscious and able to, um, you know, move and everything and attack and uh, m maneuver, I guess you could say. Bash, bash, shoot, and bash. Now, this is actually a really short dungeon if you're really going. I, however, do know where I'm going, so that's good. Green shock, but it didn't work very well. Good. But it didn't work very well. Okay, the, the um, PSI magnet. Good. Everything seems to go. Everything seems to be going our way, I guess you could say. And we defeated four of those Fobbies. Nestle's friends get 8,348 experience each. Nice. Let's go up here. You don't want to go down that louder because it, it'll actually send you somewhere like different and you don't, it won't be going the right way basically okay so yeah let's go over here let's go down here some more fobbies oh man there's like five of them wow oh there's six okay let's go let's just go ham on them i guess with smash attack nice another smash attack two in a row nice it's pretty cool Ah, uh, use the HP sucker, ah. Uh, that's what, that's the same item that, uh, Jeff has, but they're using it on us because they have their own HP sucker. Oh no. Oh, 4 5 HP on Ness, oh no. Didn't work very well, good. That's good for us. Let's keep on bashing them and, uh, bashing them and shooting them, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You won. Ness and friends get 25, 27,522 experience each. Ness is on the level of 76. Oh baby, offense went by 8. Speed went up by 1. Guts went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 2. Luck went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 15. Maximum PP went up by 6. Cool. A good level up right there. Okay, here's an item. Uh, it's a luck capsule. Let's give that to Ness, actually. Ness seems that actually has in his inventory right now. Use on Ness. Drink the, he drank the luck capsule, is luck went up by one, nice. Let's go down this ladder. Now there's actually a couple enemies that are uh, tougher, and I think one of them, I, figure, I think it's like the Shining Orb, it has like a 1 in 120, 1, 1 in 128th, uh, uh, I don't think I said that fraction right, 1, one over 128 basically is the fraction, and then 1 in front of it, so yeah, 1 in 100, 1 in 1, 128th, I think is what I said, yeah. That sounds right. The chance of uh, dropping it's the uh, broken antenna, which is actually this is the enemy I was actually talking about, yeah. That, that orb. We've already seen the um this guy right here before. We've seen him in like a uh, moonside, I think. I think um and the uncontrollable sphere. Um that's with the enemy that drops that broken antenna. It actually ends up being Je Jeff's um best um equipment equip move, offensive move or offensive item. Offensive item. And I won't be getting it right away like I did the Sword of Kings for Pooh, because I can wait till later, actually. Because I don't, uh, before the final boss, of course, but, you know, later. Because I don't want to deal with that again, because I don't want to deal on luck with having those odds again. I just got really lucky the first time with the Swords of uh, Kings. So, it also explodes when it gets defeated, so you want to destroy the Conducting Spirit first. So let's use PSI Rock and Beta on it, I guess, both of them, I guess. PSI um, Freeze Beta, I guess, on the... Conducted spirit. Hopefully this will work. It'll be very effective. I mean, do a lot of damage. Shoot that guy and bash. Yeah, okay. Hopefully this will work. Let's see here. Yeah, 302. Awesome. Nice. PSI fire alpha. Ah, 86 HP on Ness. Ah, 3 HP on Jeff. And then 70 HP on Pooh. Aw, oh, man. Cool. Okay, there we go. PSI rock and beta. Okay. Okay, made it disappear. Okay, so let's just bash, bash, and shoot and bash then. PSI attacks won't really work. You know, offensive attacks are still doing its job, so that's good. 76 HP on Pooh. Okay, we got bash, bash, shoot, and bash again. Smash attack. Awesome. Good timing. 
I think we gotta mash the A button here, because that's not a battle anyway, but still. Okay, cool. No one collapsed. It took them all damage. Nessus defense gained 12,695 experience each. Nice. Okay, let's use PSI Rock and PSI Life Up Beta on Paula. PSI Life Up Alpha on Jeff. PSI Life Up Alpha on Pooh. That's good, okay, nice. Well, I'm gonna end the part right here. Because this is my stopping point for this part. So yeah, let's spend on my Earth Bundle, let's my part. Next part, I'll take on, hopefully, maybe the Sanctuary Boss. Because this is actually a short dungeon. We might be at least halfway through by now. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, this, this has been Giant Go again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys next time on my Earth Bundle. Let's play.